What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Prodigy, and welcome to yet another Kingdom Hearts video on the channel. Today, guys, we have some very interesting information that has been revealed to us via Dengeki. They have interviewed Tetsuo Nomura about Final Fantasy VII Remake and Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. Of course, today we're going to be focusing on the Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind portion, where he kind of follows up on some things from the last 13 Questions of Darkness interview he had. He confirms some things while also giving us a little little bit of insight into what the plans for the future of the Kingdom Hearts series might end up being. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this interview. I'm not going to waste any time. We have four questions here, I believe, and I will be reading all of them and I'll comment as I feel like it. Let's talk about the Kingdom Hearts series. In January, Kingdom Hearts 3's DLC chapter was released, but the focal point was the additional scenario in Remind, which expanded on and supplemented the events of the final battle. Which Nomura responds, there was a lot of feedback from people who played Kingdom Hearts 3. We created scenes to make some of those events easier to understand, as well as Sora's journey post-game that gave a perspective you wouldn't have otherwise had. Nothing really new there, just his comments on why he made Remind and why that was the focal point of the DLC, at least that's how the interviewer interpreted it. I have yet to release my review of Remind, I'm still speculating on if I want to release a review or if I want to just talk about it, but my opinions on the Remind episode, I really love it personally. I understood most of the stuff that happened in the story anyways because I had additional context via interviews and just tools that the game gives you itself to help understand some of the lore that happened, but for other people who didn't understand some events that happened like as to why Xion came back or how the organization was like functioning in context of the ending scene of Kingdom Hearts 3, it definitely did its job in explaining some of those things even more and making them easier to understand. But nothing else to really comment on there. Next he talks about the limit Cut episode, 13 bosses appeared in the Limit Cut episode, it seems perfect for those who want to sink their teeth into challenging battles, which Nomura responds, creating the new scenes was easy enough, but the most time consuming aspect of production on the Remind DLC was building the new battles, like the Limit Cut bosses. Each of the 13 data battles is a totally different fight from their main game counterpart, so be sure to give it a try. I absolutely love, love the data battles in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, for me, they probably blow Kingdom Hearts 2's data battles like out of the water. There might be some fights that I might like a little better in 2FM, but most of the data battles in Kingdom Hearts 3, I think are like 10 out of 10, perfect, amazing. I love those fights. I've been streaming them a lot lately as well, practicing them on level 1. I'm probably going to do a Pro Codes playthrough soon. They've just been a absolute blast, and I'm going to be playing these fights probably for years to come until the next Kingdom Hearts game comes out with 13 plus new data bosses or something, I don't know. In the secret episode, the mysterious Yazora appeared. Initially, I thought Yazora was just a surprise reference that appeared as a cameo in the toy box world, but apparently it seems like he's a much more important character that will be tied to the future of Kingdom Hearts. And with Nomura responds, you wouldn't be the first to think so. Right now, there's a lot of speculation about that because of the clear resemblance to what was shown of Versus. However, the two are actually very different and I think where Yazora's story will lead will be unexpected. So why did Verum Rex appear in Kingdom Hearts 3? None of this makes sense, but I hope to clear it all up as soon as possible. Now, everyone has been freaking out about this statement specifically on Twitter. They've been speculating about it and wondering just exactly like what Nomura plans to do with Verum Rex and Versus 13 going further. He basically clarifies here once again that Versus 13 and Verum Rex are indeed different. He hasn't commented on something like this since the Ultimanias earlier last year for Kingdom Hearts 3. And while I'm sure there are people who actually do think Verum Rex and Versus 13 are the exact same thing, for me it's obviously isn't and I feel like the signs have been there from the beginning. Well for one, Versus 13 was never finished so we wouldn't know what Versus 13 would end up being. I'm going to assume Verum Rex is going to end up being finished, at least I hope. But they're totally different according to Tetsuo Nomura. There's clearly some resemblance there, especially from both the back and good endings of the secret episode. Versus 13 and Verum Rex definitely have some similarities with them, and we've used those similarities to come up with theories, to get the jump on what might happen in the next saga, though Nomura says they are very, very different, and I believe him on that because one thing that people are forgetting about with Verum Rex and Versus 13 is that for some reason, the world ends with you seemingly might end up being tied into it. I mean, for me, of course, I know that 
Nomura said that the Shibuya characters, the Warrants with You characters, are not going to appear in that Shibuya or that that's not the Shibuya that they were talking about. But I feel like there's no way they can't reference them or ignore the idea that there's two different Shibuyas in the Kingdom Hearts universe now. I mean, they're going to have to reference or at least clear up the thing about the Warrants with You, Shibuya, and Verum Rex eventually. So they definitely have some correlation with that and Verum Rex and the Warrants with You seems to have something going on, which is an aspect of Verum Rex a lot of people don't talk about that much. And outside of that, the Master is, of course, in Verum Rex as well, as we see in the secret ending. Kingdom Hearts is colliding with it. Like, really, Versus 13 by itself was probably going to be a spectacular Final Fantasy title. And maybe we'll never know. Maybe it would have tied into Kingdom Hearts at the end. Maybe at the ending of Versus 13, like, if that game ended up being finished, we would have saw Sora, like, looking down on Noctis or something. He would have appeared in a secret ending for that game. Maybe Nomura always had, like, an idea to collide Versus 13 and Kingdom Hearts, and that's why Barum Rex is a thing now. But clearly, the idea has been scrapped for years now, like, close to a decade. Or about a little more than half of a decade. So, I wonder how this idea has evolved over time, and I wonder, like, exactly what he's planning, like, with this. There's really just a lot of things about Verum Rex that are already really unique about that make it stand out from Versus. There's some clear differences just by the simple fact that it's in the Kingdom Hearts universe alone. So people who literally think Verum Rex is going to be Versus 13, I, I don't know what to really say about that because Versus 13 was never finished, so... I feel like that statement doesn't hold too much weight, but I don't know. But that was not the last statement um, from Nomura. He actually did clear up something else about the titles that are going to be coming in the future for the Kingdom Hearts series as well. Now, I made a video about this previously, but he clarified some things, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. Along with the release of Remind, Dark Road was announced, which Nomura responds, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road is a new service developed by the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross team in a double feature operation. Operation. Kingdom Hearts Union Cross itself will continue, but Dark Road will shed a light on Xehanort's past, so please pay attention to both. We talked about this in the Seven Lights and Thirteen Darknesses Q&A, but aside from the fact that Dark Road is a new project by the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross team, there are two other projects being worked on by other teams, and one of them will be coming pretty soon. So please just wait a little longer. So it was a little unclear whether we were getting one new title with two teams working on it or two new titles being made by two separate teams because they didn't clarify that in the 13 Darknesses questions. But they do here. So we are going to be getting two titles between Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts 4. Three if you include Dark Road. Which outside of Dark Road is about what Nomura stated in the Ultimania last year when he said that he's thinking about making at least one maybe two other titles before for Kingdom Hearts 4. I'm very interested in what those are going to be. So we have our prequel sort of game in Dark Road, but I wonder if these two games are going to take place immediately after Kingdom Hearts 3. That's what I'm hoping personally. I'm hoping that these two other projects by the new teams are direct like sequels to Kingdom Hearts 3. One focusing on Kairi and maybe the other game probably focusing on Yazora. So a Kairi and Riku like Dream Drop Distance like game maybe, and then a Verum Rex game. I I am, not gonna lie, a little worried about the new teams coming in. We've had multiple teams work on the Kingdom Hearts series before. We had a different team for Days and Recode, I believe. Obviously, the Osaka team worked on games like Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Distance and Onwards. We had the Tokyo team for Kingdom Hearts 1 through 2. We've had at least, like, three separate teams work on Kingdom Hearts games. And for the most part, in my opinion, I think all of those teams did a pretty fantastic job, like, making the Kingdom Hearts games we know and love today. A lot of people have games like Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop, Cage 1, 2, obviously the big ones as like their favorite games, and people still love going back to those games like even today. And Osaka team completely blew it out of the water with Kingdom Hearts 3 and Remind. But I can't lie, I'm a little scared because I'm, I'm just worried that this new team, maybe they won't understand the Kingdom Hearts formula as much. And I was really hoping that with the future Kingdom Hearts games, now they still could, I'm sure they're going to reuse assets and have some help from Osaka team. 
They're not going to go in completely blind. But I love the work that Osaka team put into Kingdom Hearts 3. I love the ideas they threw into the game with transformations. I think Attraction Pillow was a cool idea, but it could have been executed a little bit better. I loved abilities like Air Step. I loved the sense of speed and, like, utility in the combat with all the cancel windows. And just the sheer amount of, like, creativity you can have. And I wanted them to keep going, like, forward with that. And they still could. This new team could still, like, take a page out of Osaka team's book and like bring all of that creativity like to the next Kingdom Hearts game but since it is a new team it's very likely they're gonna have different ideas and they're gonna want to do different things which I'm not opposed to because every Kingdom Hearts game in a sense is very very different from each other gameplay mechanically wise I personally hope they don't change too much because I just want them to take what they did with Kingdom Hearts 3 and just run with it put any new ideas you want to in I guess but keep that strong foundation for the number tile that Kingdom Hearts 3 built for the future games now we don't know what Osaka team is doing as of right now it is believed by the community that the Osaka team is now pretty much the number title team they're going to be the ones making the big kingdom hearts games going forward well every kingdom hearts game is big to a degree but you know the number of tiles people are expecting them to be working on kingdom hearts 4 and if that's the case then that might mean that nomura is trying to get this next saga like done fast that was me snapping because he already has two titles being worked on right now dark road is in the works or is about to release this spring actually and then if he does have like kingdom hearts 4 quietly being worked on the background while all of these games are releasing then honestly we we might have like our kingdom hearts saga foreteller saga or whatever progressing very smoothly over the next couple of years no longer will kingdom hearts fans have to wait 15 years for kingdom hearts 3 to come out or in this context for a kingdom hearts 4 i've said before in the past and i might make another video about this topic just alone but i am really excited for non-numbered tiles in the future because if they keep the foundation from Kingdom Hearts 3 and just like put that on to the non-numbered titles and if they're made for console of course we don't have any handhelds dominating the market right now outside of like the Nintendo Switch but even then that console is like kind of a hybrid it's not really like a full handheld it's pretty likely that the next Kingdom Hearts games are going to all be on console Xbox One, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X maybe the Switch hopefully in the future I know a lot of people want that so they'll be able to like utilize like these new systems instead of being forced to develop the game a certain way because of like the gimmicks of a console or something so I'm really looking forward to non number tiles in the future but that's going to be it for my uh, long little tangent but if you guys enjoyed today's video uh, leave a like share the video with a friend or a family member leave a comment down below telling me what you guys think about all of this what do you guys think the next two Kingdom Hearts games are going to end up being next two projects do you guys think the new teams are going to do a good job bad job let me know all of your opinions on everything that was stated by Nomura in this interview on top of maybe what you think of some of my thoughts and last but not least if you're not already and want to become a part of the union all you have to do is hit that red little subscribe button down below my name is Prodigy and I will talk to you guys soon peace out